Let's vote in our confidence time. Brock, you ready? I'm always ready. That's debatable. Let's, let's bring in our <laughs> guests. We've got two special guests uh, with us today from across. Can we say across the globe, Brock? Is that fair? It's not, but could we say it? <laughs> it's open, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> There's water separating us <laughs> and land. Right. All right, we've got representing the Knights of Ren, Rob. How you doing? I'm doing great, Brock. How you doing, James? Oh, yeah. Bringing that big Jedi energy. <laughs> yeah. oh, Sith big energy. Technology, yeah. <laughs> and representing the Praetorian Guards, we've got Charlie. Charlie, what's up? Hey, how we doing? Uh, nice. I'm going to be the you know Praetorian Guard a little more dignified, so I won't do the Macho Man impression. So you know, my stately red robes here. Hold on. Uh... Oh, awesome. Um, there you go. Perfect. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Oh, no. oh he's ready. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you got that on surprisingly fast. Yeah, very <laughs> fast. It's almost like he is Kylo Ren. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, Macho oh, Man yeah. Ren. <laughs> Macho Ren. Get ready to duel, Charlie. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Everyone knows how the rules work. This is very serious stuff. This is a debate. We're debating who was. Would you say better? Maybe better the Knights of Ren versus Praetorian Guard here. Brock, who's your money on tonight? This is hard because I've been really interested in the Knights of Ren. But it was such a disappointment in Rise of Skywalker. Praetorian Guards, I will agree, there's a class to them. But again, unknown. Like They're just a group of fighters that are just so interesting, but not there's no follow-through. But So I am conflicted myself. I... I will give you a proper answer at the end of this, I think. My, uh, look, Charlie, don't let me down. I mean, there you guys can't see me now, but I got a Praetorian guy right over my right shoulder. Yeah. Rob, I'm sorry. But I do That's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't worry. But you know what? You got to win me over. You get to win me over. So, you know, maybe the pressures are all on uh, Charlie right now because I'm in there. And, no pressure. Uh, no pressure whatsoever. All right, Knights of Ren is going to go first. All right. why, don't you, why don't you take it, Kylo? Yo, you guys, you, you the Berturian Guard, right? They walk it around. They just live in a chamber. What are they doing there? Some wrestling? They just wait for Snoke to just sit there? What if Snoke disappears for a minute? What do they do then? Do they cook flambe? Or do they chew eggs? Do they just piddle paddle? Or do they practice? I want to know this, Charlie. Because outside of that, you guys don't leave the room much. What do you do? <laughs> we do a lot. We <laughs> do a lot. All right. So l let me educate you a little bit. History and numbers. All right. Praetorian Guard. Based off of, for uh, us that are not in the uh, you know Star Wars lore, based off of the Roman Praetorian Guard mm -hmm. that protected the emperor. All right. So there, it's rich in flavor it's rich in history not only that you see the first edition of them in return to the jedi with the red guard the red royal guard they are the praetorian guard okay so we have lots of history on our side not only that we have the numbers hey there are eight eight elite members of the praetorian guard how many are knights are in six Six. Oh, oh, okay. So we have, we have, we have the numbers on our side. Bring on your Jedi, because I can combat that as well. So we have the history and we have the numbers. What else you got? Oh man, we're not even part of the Jedi, man. We got dark force. We're just dark force users, because we're like little witches just walking around, just doing things that we wear black. Black is so dastardly with buckles, <laughs> big buckles that we make ourselves and we take from our foes. And if we defeat you in battle, we would have a bunch of red buckles, which would then make us look like Atlanta Falcon fans. But yet, we would still have to burn it all because we love the black and our weapons and our armors are just so beautiful. Wait, wait, Brock, how do you feel about the buckles comment? Are you, <laughs> are you down with the buckles? <laughs> 
Man, I never thought we were talking about belt buckles. Oh. Yeah. All right. Good point. Well, you you want to talk about weapons and armor? Yes. I got you covered. All right. So we have eight guards broken down into two per group. So you have four different groups. All right. So two of them are uh, equipped with vibro benzitos. Yeah. Uh, then we have two of them that have the electro chain whip that can be broken down as a staff. A then whip. we have two that have the vibro vlog, which is similar to the Basento. It's just longer and wider. Then we have two more that held two twin vibro blades that could separate. Not only is it can be used as a staff, they can separate. And you want to talk about armor. We'll talk about armor. They mm. have layered plate mail. Layered plate mail, just like the Bushido warriors in Japanese history. All right, they can be energized to deflect blaster bolts. They help repel the strikes against the lightsabers. What else okay. do you? <laughs> I see, but you know what? I look at that armor, right? I look at that armor, and all I see is Madonna. Like you're just wearing your underwear out on side of your things now. You think you're cool. You know, walk around talking about you, a material crew. You got to know the, the whole crew itself. Your weapons might be a little cool. You had me at the Vibra Lance, but those whips, come on, man. Ooh, let me whip it out. Let me whip it out. I'm going to whip you. Whip. All right. So, you, you know, even without the weapons, check this out. <laughs> we are trained in Terrascasi. Oh, yeah. We are also trained in uh, the Connie Hand, which is taught to the Jedi as their non-lightsaber training. They are also trained in Ikani, e e e e uh, I probably am massacring these names, but the Ikani Martial Arts, which is taught only to the Praetorian Guard. Not only that, they also have another training style, which is uh, Nar Kanji, which is the blind alley fighting. Mm. Yeah. Different yeah. styles. And your guys, I mean, if you want, I mean, I could read off some of my notes on, on, on what you guys have for fighting style, but I mean, it's... Uh, we're, we're, you know, the, the whole rumor is that there was a rumor that the Knights of Ren were actually the Praetorian Guard, but the Praetorian Guard was slain, so that rumor is debunked, but I will tell you something, you got little pretty armors and little things and you have so much fun. And I see you went the facts. I thought about going facts. I was like, you know what? But our weapons are badass. And you know what's even better? We got a comic line as well. We're in it. We're, we're in it all over. Ren's with us. You're learning the history. We got Ben Solo joining the group now. He's going to eventually lead us to the promised land. And we're going to fight him in the end. Because that's what we do. We'll, we'll get to that here, all right? So you want to talk about scenes. You want to talk about movies, okay? The Last Jedi, all right, the, the scene with the Praetorian Guard lasted over three minutes. The fight scene lasted over three minutes. Mm -hmm. Rise of Skywalker, how long did that fight scene last? How long did it take Kylo to or Ben to dispatch the uh, them? 46 Once seconds? <laughs> Once he got the saber, but he was scared. He was so scared of us. He wouldn't even use his force powers. Not only that, it took two Jedi, it took Kylo mm. and Rey to dispatch all of the guard. Okay. That was a, that's a beautiful argument. That was an argument if I got the Praetorian, I was going to make the most. Because it did take two highly powered, it took a Skywalker and, of course, a Palpatine to defeat them. But, but, they were all caught off. They were also confused. So you, they, the Praetorian guard, had an advantage. Whereas when we stepped onto the scene, we got some nice licks in on Sir Ben Solo, and we're ready to bring the pain. I got so much more coming for you. Here's my last feather in the cap. In the novelization of The Last Jedi, it talks extensively about how scared Kylo Ren was of the guard, and that he really didn't stand a chance against them Cannon, right there. Mm. He had to have Ray in order to win. You, you, that's it. Well, here we go. You ready? Break it down. The Knights' Ren is the name of the gang. 
and you better be scared, so let's start the roll call off, just to be fair. Alec brings the strategy like I bring the pain. Porto is the armor. His mods are insane. Baruch has our backs like a sniper in a jungle while Trojan collects the heads from your red-ass bungles. Ushar will make you grovel for mercy while you end up like Cersei. And last but not least, the cruel the Harvester will cut through the rest because the Knights of Ren are the best. Oh, yeah! You might have a rap. No matter what, uh, where on the scale you want to rate that, but I have the facts. And the facts don't lie. Facts, He's like a lawyer. Facts, <laughs> and I wrote a rap. Facts versus rap. Brock, any uh, any closing thoughts today? I gotta I, I gotta be real now. The pomp and circumstance of the Knights of Ren. Uh, it's it's easy. I could I could go to the dark side, but I gotta say, the current stance of both of these, I, I think the Praetorian Guards are superior. They're just a little bit more to it. I will put an asterisk on it. I feel that we're going to learn more about the Knights and Ren. I think we need to revisit this. But for me, it's got to be Praetorian Guards. And ironically, I, I was reading something historical and mentioned the real Praetorian Guards. I'm like, oh yeah, that's a thing. Uh, but yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Rob. I have to go with the Praetorian Guards. It's okay. It's okay. Debated like superbly though, <laughs> like he, it was on, on, side, on both sides. But you, I gotta say, it's been a delight just doing what you, you put the mask on, and I could still hear what you were saying. <laughs> yeah, I, I almost want to. I'm always gonna pick Knights of Ren just so I don't get forced choked through the monitor right now. <laughs> Uh, but, but this is not just about Brock and I. We want to know what everybody watching and listening has to say. Give us a comment below. Give us your vote. Give us a vote. We will announce the winner uh, after it has been on uh, for for this week. So next week's episode, episode 156, we will have the winner. Uh, why don't you yeah. guys each, starting with Rob, why don't you guys each tell us where they could find you and any last thoughts you want to point out to push you over the edge? Charlie? Since you live farthest west, you can go first. Well, I appreciate it. All right. So you can find me on Twitter at dblakejr7, or just look for any tweets that have Charlie Skywalker on there. I also host a podcast, Star Wars Through the Ages. Uh, I'm a little behind on that, but I'll get back going. Uh, and, yeah, I really appreciate all the support that I've been getting on Twitter. Uh, appreciate you guys. And, Rob, that was amazing. I loved it. <laughs> Thanks, man. I had a great time going up to get you too, man. I hear your name mentioned all the time on the podcast since I, you know, been on board. Uh, you can find me at Heat Override with just an O. If you put two zeros like the way I spell it, you'll get your eerie macho man. Then you can go check out my macho man soon. <laughs> but you can find me there. I do do a podcast. It's called Bring the Pain. Uh, that's pretty much how my podcasts go. I'm completely insane. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't do that for the rhyme, but I know these guys are up against the time. Guys, thank you so much for giving us the best. Now, can I just hear that the Knights of Ren are above all the rest? Oh, boom. We'll find out next week. Same bad time, same bad channel. Ooh, yeah. Hey, scumbags. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up on our video. As always, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Rebel Scum Podcast, for all the latest videos.